Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Let's be honest, we're nearing the end of Team of the Year. Only a few more days with these cards in packs and the content is starting to slow down. But could EA have done more? Are they really just giving up on Team of the Year at this point? I want to talk about that today because there are some things that we learned about, that we heard about, that we haven't seen yet during Team of the Year that we thought we were going to see. And I also want to talk about market content, everything heading forward from today into Tuesday on FC24. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's go over yesterday's content, which we'll start off by talking about the objectives. If you didn't get it done yesterday, make sure you get it done. It's pretty easy to do. The Easter egg nation is Switzerland. And I also misspoke in yesterday's video. This is not able to be um, obtained yet. The lone KDB, that's not until the February 3rd broadcast. Uh, for the open finals yesterday was the very end of the season of all the group play and now we go into the tournament um, I can't lie. I'm a little bit glad that that's over the Mondays man the Mondays on this game where um, It's just been the FC pro live stuff has been going on. It's just been it's been slow It's felt I don't know what that is or why that is but it just feels like content on Mondays when we have the FC Pro Live stuff going on is very slow. So that's kind of the FC Pro Live wrap up there. There were no new objectives yesterday except for a refresh in the Team of Your Champs bonus, which uh, kind of sucks because I didn't finish my champs. But at least at least I get an 83 times 3 out of that one because I'm still finishing champs right now. But speaking of the FC Pro Live cards, we do have a few upgrades coming in. Uh, Caballero and the center back uh, Isak Hine are going to be getting... Uh, double upgrades, so is Calvin Phillips, but he is not moving on, Tex is not moving on, so the only two live cards still into the last part of the tournament here is going to be Caballero and Hine, the center back, but of course, Makengo and Calvin Phillips are both going to get upgrades, so that's kind of the situation with those cards, probably upgraded tomorrow on Wednesday, as it has been for the last couple of weeks of FC Pro Live. Now, let's go to SBCs, because there's a little bit more action there. First of all, EA tweeted out yesterday that they are they brought back the 87 plus hero player pick correctly and it is 87 plus I haven't actually finished it yet I still have to do the second squad but of course this player pick is back and uh, that also means that the compensation is on the way I think they tweeted about that as well guys I wouldn't expect to see compensation for this still for a couple of days but the fact that it's back in the game pretty quick is a nice thing to see and uh, you can do it two more times so like I did it twice when it was glitched and now I can do it two more times so that's cool and at least they brought that back pretty fast uh, requirements of course are the exact same now the two SBCs that we had yesterday one of which was a little surprise but it's not this one. Debinha, she was leaked. We figured she was going to get an SBC soon, and it dropped yesterday. Five star, five star. She had the winter wild cards just recently, a couple of weeks ago. Five foot one, very short. But Trivella plus and really good ball control play styles apart from that with technical and quick step. Um, you know, it's an okay card. I just feel like it's a card that not a ton of people are going to look at and say, oh, yeah, got to get that into my team. And even for the price, like, again, Team of the Year player SBCs. I, I don't have hope for whenever they're going to drop Saliba because even this card is 85 and 87 rated squat, which I think leads to the 9% upvote on Footbin being the reason why, the price, right? I mean, we're talking 216,000 coins for that card on the market. Would it be that much in my opinion? No, but five foot one with insane dribbling, five star, five star, entry Vela Plus, not a terrible card for sure if you want to go out and get that one done. Now, the surprise SBC was UEFA marquee matchups. And you're like, Nate, who cares about that? Well, the market does because this is a tradable pack SBC. Three different packs you can get from this. And tradable packs during team of the year with all that's in packs, everybody's going to try and go ahead and do this. It's pretty easy to do. It costs 6,000 coins. You get a premium gold players pack and a couple of other packs. And it's impacting the market a little bit. A little bit of unexpected supply. That's why I'm saying that it is impacting the market because all of the team of the year honorable mentions, even right now, as I take a look at the market, a lot of them have dropped. Some of them are still up, but a lot of the lower tier, most packable ones like Musiala is now under 300K. Like some 299 listings I saw were just popping up for him. That's pretty low. Uh, you take a look at somebody like Trent. Trent was not going under 110 at all yesterday. And now I believe he's like 107 or 105. I guess he's still getting sniped pretty much under 110. There's some 109 sitting, but he was definitely 105,000 coins earlier as I saw him flipping. Harry Kane is getting a little bit low again. Guys, it doesn't make me uh, dislike these investments, though. It does not make me at all think these cards uh, don't have a chance to rise. I still think that they do. 
I'm just more so focused on now maybe the more rare ones. Like uh, I bought the Diani last night at 530, 525,000 coins, and she is now up to 550 still. She was 580 yesterday earlier in the day. But her price still being 540 to 550 for me is like, okay, that's cool. If you bought a Mohamed Salah or a Fede Valverde yesterday at their low points, Mohamed Salah is going up a lot. Wow, he was 1.1s again yesterday. Uh, 1.17 I think I saw and now he's back to 1.25 so a good rise there I still think these cards have really good potential to rise up in the next two weeks um, I have a couple of Kim Min Jays I have the Diani I have a Musiala I have one Trent I would like to pick up one Harry Kane as well if I can get like 110k I would love to do that so I mean yes the supply does I guess worry me a slight bit but these are the team of the year cards that have been so hard to pack like I finally packed an honorable mentions card yesterday, guys. I packed Olga twice, right, from doing the league, uh, La Liga premium packs. Finally packed her card, but the rest of these I haven't seen at all. So they're, like, supplied on the market. I don't know who's packing them. Just be, there must be so many people that are playing this game right now at the moment that uh, there's just so much, I guess, packs being opened that it's somehow supplying these cards, I guess. The team of the year hype is still going for a lot of people because these cards did get supplied in the market and they did drop. But I think it's really just created another buying opportunity for these. And I think you'll see some of them still rise up into the next couple of days. I got really lucky last night, just to update you guys on this Allison card. If you saw it on my transfer list yesterday, I got really lucky. I bought this for 515, Lazy listed it for 617 and it sold. I was like, wow, somebody paid 100,000 coins over. That is the power of lazy listing though, for sure. Um, and the regular team of the year cards as we check their prices always too. Messi's 9.3. Um, Holland's 8.2, like Teo Hernandez is now 4.7 million. Uh, De Bruyne went up a lot yesterday. They were talking about him on the uh, the live stream. Allison is still low, but he gets supplied almost every day too from lightning rounds in the store. Karchawi's above 2 million. Sophia Smith is 2.5. A lot of these cards, Renard is 2.45. Ona Batia is 1.7s crazy. Like these cards just keep going up for the most part. And Nothing's going to change that right now unless EA change something themselves. I feel like I say that every day, but it's really the truth. Something has to change with the pack weight. Something has to change with the packs in the store for that to change. And that's what I want to get into the conversation a little bit today. Like, did EA really give up on Team of the Year a little bit? Because I want to talk about some of these store packs and stuff that we saw yesterday. Because yesterday, in terms of the store, too, the odds didn't change, guys. Like, they did. It's weird. I tweeted this out yesterday. I don't know if you saw it or not. If you look at the 500,000 coin pack, which is the highest percentage chance of packing a team of the year, 6.9%. Odds were updated January 28th at 6 p.m. content time. But the 400k pack, odds were updated on the 29th of January yesterday at 2 p.m. UK time. I was really confused as to why some of these packs update their possibilities and their probabilities at random times. That was something that I noticed. But every single day that we go on, they keep running the same lightning rounds. And, you know... It just seems like the content as well is just starting to slow down. And really what gave me that inclination was seeing this yesterday. EA tweeted out, this week in Ultimate Team, right? There's three things on here. Honorable mention SBCs, which we had Debina yesterday. I don't know where the heck uh, Saliba is. That's the only SBC that might give us one last, like, W player uh, during Team of the Year. La Liga EA Sports Player of the Month. Uh, don't know who that is. Probably going to be leaked pretty soon. That SBC, I think, would be Friday anyway. So that's kind of the date for that. And then upgrade SBCs and new Evos. For this week in Ultimate Team kind of tweet thing, this is really dead. This is not a lot. Um, this is like the beginning of what I thought was like, all right, this is the end of Team of the Year is really what this is. I know Team of the Year for some of you guys has already been ending. And you're like, Nate, what's the point of crafting the menus? I know the Team of the Year cards are in packs, but they're unpackable. Like this to me yesterday was like, all right, it's going to be a bit of a slower week as we kind of end team of the year. They're not trying to end with a bang. And you can also tell uh, in the store, guys, I want to talk about packs just w once more as well. And I want to show you an example of where I think EA, like either this is by design, which I want to talk about, but also like they could have done more with some of these store packs even. And especially with the weight on these packs, um, there's still a pack that is out, guys. We I tweeted this out yesterday as well. It's been added to the code, which means... It has every likelihood of being dropped into this game, and it hasn't come out yet. The Epic Team of the Year Honorable Mentions Pack, which is the three guaranteed Team of the Year Honorable Mentions Player Pack, with one of those being 89+, plus, and then also an 83 times 50 inside of the pack. Like an 83 times 50, along with three Honorable Mention Players. Like, 
This has never been dropped in the game. And at this point, as we're getting into a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, the last three days of Team of the Year, why would it be? This wouldn't be a pack that I think EA would realize would do as good unless it was dropped on a weekend when more of those store packs are being released. So it just seems like this pack might not be released now. I don't know. Um, we talked about it yesterday. I was like, okay, maybe Monday they drop it. They didn't. And then even for lightning rounds, every day for lightning rounds, we're getting the same thing. This is a look back to the Friday drop. I went back on the Twitch VOD to look at the Friday drop of Team of the Year attackers last week, uh, or almost a week and a half ago, like two weeks almost ago. Now, we haven't seen the times 15 attacker, midfielder, or defender position specific lightning round packs, or like we also had. Uh, we also had an 85 times 7 lightning round. Those haven't been dropped. And those were the lightning rounds that on that Friday of Attackers Team of the Year supplied the Team of the Year attackers so much. And that's why these, some, the Sophia Smith, the Sam Kerr, and even the men's Team of the Year cards like Holland was, what was he, like 6 mil? Messi was, what, 6 as well? Uh, Mbappe was actually on the market. Like that's when those cards were actually there and they were low and they were supplied. Of course, everybody remembers Sam Kerr being 1.2 mil and Sophia Smith being 1.5. And now they're just up so much. So it's the change in the pack weight making it worse. And also them just not dropping as good of packs. It feels like they've sold themselves short a little bit, right? They could have had maybe even so much more um, people hyped about the game if they wouldn't have changed the pack weight to be as low as it is. They could have had more FC point sales if they would have kept those big packs and lightning rounds. They would maybe keep people more... Is this Leal? Oh, I thought we had Rafael Leal there for a second. They could have kept uh, more people that spent FC points interested in the game with those packs that actually supplied the team of the year cards last week very well that's the part where i feel like they maybe they kind of sold man honestly like yeah you sold a little bit with this in my opinion but the other part of the of the flip side is the flip side of the coin if whatever you want to say is that maybe it was intended to be like this maybe it was intended to get us to think oh hey you know sam kerr or sophia smith those are kind of affordable cards like a, a team of the year card for 1.2 mil with those kind of stats after using her in draft like that's worth every bit of 1.2 million coins. That kind of, I think, got people excited, myself included. We're like, yo, this is legit. This is going to be a crazy team of the year promo. The cards seem packable. Look at the supply on the market. And then you see the prices being at least like believable as well and not super crazy. Of course, the men's cards were still expensive, but all signs were pointing towards great things. And then from there, it just feels like they've sold a little bit but i think that was on purpose a little bit guys they got us hooked they got us in while those cards were cheap and while it was exciting they were dropping the big packs in the store and we all had our saved up packs waiting for all the cards to come out to have the best shot at packing every single possible team of the year card they were also releasing crazy sbcs they had the sawa right the best we have had the um who else did we get and we go to the player sbc tab we had the Bruno. We have had the, that was the best one, right? Alfonso Davies is up there as well. Conte's not too bad. Alex Morgan's decent too. It's these SBCs that really got people amped because it was like, wow, we're going to open all these packs and craft these cards, which this is the best part of Team of the Year so far, hands down. The SBC players. Davies is one of the best, if not the best, left back in the game. Look at all the pro players that were playing yesterday in the tournament. Every single one of them, I believe, had Thunderstruck Davies as their left back. That's a testament to how good this guy is and how crazy this card probably is. He's going to be one of the next SBCs that I craft. Bruno had the top in-game stats of the game. I don't know if he has it anymore after the team of the years have dropped, but that's a crazy card. Sal was insane. Yes, we've had some overpriced ones. Luca, Kavicha, right? Dabinia. They're overpriced and they're expensive, but the SBCs, even the upgrade packs, like the 87 plus picks, the hero pick, the icon pack, they've all been reasonably priced it's been a really really good time for sbcs in terms of crafting on the menus it's just the thing that is missing is the team of the years are like unobtainable but i think ea wanted that in a sense for two reasons and that's what i want to talk about too was it ea's preference for these cards to be packable and then to be low in price and then to eventually fly in price as a lot of people were wanting to go and get them afterwards and open all their packs when the full team was released it was that their goal and i think Maybe that it was. Now, I'm going to look at this from a fodder standpoint because if you think about it this way, everybody was going to open packs, right? Always. We always open packs for the full team, saved up packs, all the packs that EA had out, right? And they're going to go do those crazy SBCs. Look at what fodder has done, man. Fodder has absolutely exploded. This is a crazy fodder explosion. You, you take a look to last weekend. 
um, or honestly, the beginning of Team of the Year midfielders on like Sunday, Monday, all 90 rated were 50,000 coins. They rose up to 55K during the week. And then on Friday, as everybody started opening their packs from 53K up to, these were all 65,000 coins at one point, I believe. 64K yesterday, Sunday, all these cards went up to 63,000 coins as well for in packs, 90 rated players. So they turned the weight down on packs and they put out all these crazy SBCs that we have to go spend money on to buy cards to complete because there's high rated cards. And EA has a masterful combination there where they end up selling more packs and they drain more accounts of coins. Think about it. If you're like, I got to get Sawa done. I got to get Bruno done. You're going to go spend the coins to get that done. So, but at the same time, if you're not packing these cards or these cards that you want to pack while you're opening packs, it's just kind of all a part of the master plan. And it's so frustrating, right? It is so frustrating. It's like, this is one of the, if not the marquee promo of the year. Why not let us like fully enjoy it? Why hold back in some areas, you know? So that's where I feel like EA kind of sold, to be completely honest. I'm not going to complain too much about the objectives. The evolutions were okay. The, again, the SBCs have been great. It's been the packs that have been the problem with this promo and especially the weight a little bit too. I mean, even honorable mentions are very difficult to pack. The fact that I opened a couple of hundred packs yesterday and packed two Olgas from league-specific packs only is so frustrating. Um, it's just really frustrating, man. I'm going to keep ripping these. I'm, I'm going to keep spending coins on upgrade packs because that's what unlocks me doing the SBCs. And there is a great craft right now. Actually, that might be the first time that I've packed Acuna. And maybe they changed the weight. I don't think they did. The weight still seems pretty bad. I'm still going to craft through packs for the whole entire week because that's part of the chase for Team of the Years, right? You never know. But I just think that, especially for the enjoyment of this game, I think they sold a little bit, man. I really do believe think, believe that they sold. So, uh, with that being said, that's kind of just one of the conversation points that I wanted to bring up today. I'm still trying to pack Messi. I'm still trying to pack every single Team of the Year card that I can or Team of the Year icon. But it's just feeling a little bit... Um, What's the word that I'm looking for? It's it's getting repetitive on the menus, and it's just for a lot of people now just become demoralizing, and it's been disappointing. So let's talk about Tuesday today. There is an SBC that might actually give us a decent chance at packing a team of the year that's supposed to be coming out today, leaked by Foot Police. Now, it's yet again another upgrade SBC, and it might be one of the more expensive ones we've had yet, but you think about player picks. We've wanted them during team of the year. We had the 80-plus player pick that was repeatable 10 times every other day. One of the dumbest things they've ever done for upgrade packs. Just let it be unlimited repeatable, right? Um, 86 plus player pick, one of three coming soon. I would imagine it would be today. Guys, it's probably going to be like an 86 rated squad or something crazy. And 86s are like extinct at 12K anyway. Um, if I go take a look at 86 rated cards, uh, 85s, you know, they're going to go up if there's an 86 rated squad. If it's an 85 rated squad, those are going to go up as well. Maybe an inform requirement. I'm not investing in informs for this, but... Informs are so easy to get right now anyway. Why do you even have to buy one? The 83 plus player pick is virtually free if you go do a couple objective packs or grind through a couple of SBCs with common golds into a premium. It's so easy to get 82s and 83s right now. It's not even worth buying informs in my opinion. Uh, but this could come today and th that might be the best pack yet or pick to give us a chance at packing a team of the year or an honorable mention. But again, you're going to see a lot of 86, 7, and 8 rated golds in that. So I think that might be coming today. Other SBCs coming. The refresh of the 85 times 3 midfielder. And then your other daily refreshing SBCs, which would be the 82, 20. And the 80 plus picks that I just mentioned. Those are coming back today too. Those are worth doing for sure. But that's coming back today. But yeah, the 83 midfielder. I, I know that yesterday a couple people packed team of the years from... The uh, 85-3 Defender that refreshed. Um, I will say, guys, in terms of the pack weight, I'm, I've been seeing a couple more blues on the timeline than I've seen in previous days, but it's just it's very hard to pack them, and it, it's, uh, it's getting a little bit repetitive. But we still grind on. I'm in this mix right now between it sucks, but also... It's team of the year, and you have to grind for the packs, right? And they're not easy to pack ever, but they seem like... Yeah, again, it was all the beginning of that first week. I feel like I could talk about this forever. But other things we could expect today is maybe that one last center mid Evo, right? There was that one Evo that was a 75-rated center mid that we were going to be able to upgrade for two playstyle pluses. That could be pretty sick, especially because, um, you know, it's kind of the whole thing right now with evolutions that you can get two playstyle pluses with the unclaimed Evo glitch and all of that. So, um yeah, that's like if they drop one of those in uh, evolutions, that would be pretty cool to make your own two playstyle plus player from an Evo. So that's still that's out there. And then, of course, Saliba, man. 
I don't know when Saliba is going to be dropped now. Saliba was like a perfect Sunday SBC, but instead they dropped other players, or actually they didn't drop one on Sunday. But uh, yeah, Saliba is going to be big whenever he's released. But especially if it comes like today, tomorrow, Thursday, the hype is already starting to die down a little bit for team of the year. And maybe pe less people are opening packs. They finished up the SBCs they want to finish up. And if that SBC is overpriced, I just think that people are going to really dislike that, even though it could have been so great. Now that we've had Kavicha and Modric, especially, it's like, those are not good. So we will see what Saliba is like. Now, last thing is, if you're like wanting to find some motivation, if your coins are down after team of the year and you want to make some coins, um, you know, fodder right now, that buy yesterday on the 85s was such a good call. Um, it was, if you got any of those GGs, they're still going to go higher today. I think list them at like 7k, you'll get sales. Um, 84 is again, that's a long-term investment. The other fodder, I just can't really recommend it too much guys. Like if there's an 87 requirement today, 87s are going to go extinct and then 88s and could go up. You, one thing you could look at would be like 86s and 87s with price ranges that go above 18k, maybe some special cards and stuff like that. Those could like randomly spike up five to 6,000 coins as people try to just get an 87 rated player. You could look into that a little bit if you wanted to, but honestly, the best place to be right now is in this stuff right here, just the out of packs on bids because less people are grinding the market. They're all grinding packs, there's less eyes. And when you see a graph like this, he goes from 206 all the way to 223 and then back to 209. And then what is he right now? Basically 223 again, two or three cards away. This is a card, put it on your radar, flip this card, right? That's the easiest thing you can do in this game right now. Any budget you can do this on, less than 100K, over a couple million. Just do it with multiple cards. Mukiele is at 84,000 coins. That's really low for him, right? What was he yesterday? Yesterday, Mukiele was 91. He's been kind of dropping off since. Now he's down to like 80, 84. <laughs> That's really low. So, you know, find cards that you can flip like that. Winter wild cards are great. The team of the group stage cards, I flipped a Musiala yesterday. Like this is what I did for Musiala. Last night after I recorded the YouTube video, I was like, oh shoot, he was right here. I was like, wait, he's sitting on the market at 295. So I looked at his graph and I was like, he goes from 312, spikes to 350, goes to 330 a couple times a day. So I picked one up at 294 because it was literally just sitting there, listed it for 330, boom, easy coins. 15k profit basically right there ggs that's what you can do right now on this market and again lazy list your stuff because people want to try out these team of the years they forget the prices they just look for the cheapest one they can see and you end up getting lazy sales and stuff like this so rec i recommend lazy listing all your team of the year honorable mentions if you have those as well i'm continuing to lazy list mine i'll lazy list here again for another hour doing a lot of that and the last thing to watch out for today is a title update i don't know what this is going to fix it seemed like it was very small in the patch notes and all that sort of thing um, but not a lot expected there for today on this game, but there is at least some sort of update coming pretty soon. That's for PS5 and Xbox Series XS and also PS, or sorry, PC. So all of that's coming today. I'm not expecting it to be a big day, but just a couple things to take note of. And um, yeah, guys, you know what we might actually be seeing soon? Future stars, leaks, and news, because that's always a promo that EA try to continue the hype of team of the year and push into. Future stars is always right after, and... It's probably too early for a loading screen today, but you never know. If the leaks start coming, there's going to be a lot of talk about future stars. That's always a promo that gets the hype building up. It just feels like right now, the team of the year hype is really ending, but we feel like EA could have done more. So let me know what you think down in the comments. If you agree with this, again, maybe your last thoughts on team of the year. This is like kind of a team of the year discussion video. I feel like it turned into for me just because we're definitely on the tail end now of this promo. And not that I've given up hope, but it's definitely in the grindy part and the content slowing down, but that doesn't take... Um, it's kind of a no-brainer. It's easy to see. So that's the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, drop a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nathan with Count. See you guys in the stream today where we hopefully can pack a blue and get that number to two. Peace. Out.